Disarreo. I am here today at Cornerstone Elementary as they celebrate their 20th anniversary. And here at Cornerstone, it's not just about school, it's about family. We believe in parent participation, parents in the classroom, not just to cut and paste or file, but are actually supportive members, uh, assistants, if you will, in the classroom so that the teacher can truly teach. She can or he can share a concept with a small group while other parents are working with other small groups, art, science, math, whatever. So parents in the classroom is what we believe in. It, it has worked, I was gonna, as you can see. Yeah, well, I was going to ask you, in the beginning, was it tough to get the parents to actually commit to coming to the school to be in the classroom? No, I don't think so. We did a pretty good job at the time. Of course, we had a couple of parent participation schools on the hill. Okay. Um, and um, the parents believed in the concept who came to our school and so knowing that they were willing to go through the rigors if you will of becoming teaching parents i mean we had uh, orientation uh, for them as teaching parents we had orientation for them as members of the school there were a lot of responsibilities there were a lot of meetings and they all signed up for it, which, you know, and then it grew, as you can see. No, okay, and now what kind of things were parents asked to do in the classroom? In the beginning, parents were asked to do a lot at the school, okay. not just the classroom. They were asked to meet with the teachers, understand their curriculum and their teaching styles, understand what was going on that week so that they were fully aware of how they could assist the, the, the students, mm -hmm. which is something that came from Palos Verdes Hills via Margie. Okay. Um, additionally then, because we inherited Pedregal School when it was a rental only, um, there was a lot of cleaning and a lot of rehab that we had to do as parents. And we came together and that really brought the founding families together when we had to do clean up, when we had to clean the bathrooms ourselves actually because there was no custodial help. No. Um, and we had to clean our classrooms. We were the assistants, and I was, uh, Margie was still working at Palos Verdes Hills, but at the time, I came in, and it was called the middle room at the time, and answered the phone. It was a one-line phone, and we had two classrooms going, two teachers handling all of that, and we had a uh, administrator who was down the street. So, yeah, And how many parents per class did you want in a classroom, usually? Usually three. Wow. Oh. Yeah. It's moms and dads? Moms and dads, you bet, absolutely. It's wonderful when the dads come. When uh, At Palos Verdes Hills, we would have a gathering of dads. They would get together and decide, okay, this Thursday, it's gonna be all dads or whatever. And, and that carried over here as well. So moms and dads. And how wonderful for children to see that their education is important. Oh, not just to mom but to dad. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Especially many years later, hopefully, when they're in college. Yeah. Yeah. 20 years later, what are you most proud of? The school, the school. It's just, when you think of these two rooms that she was describing, that just where I'm, we're talking tiles falling out of the ceiling and the dirt on the floor. You couldn't see in and out of the windows. The parents really came as did the district, they helped us. But when you think of that beginning mm -hmm. and see the facility that they have and the, the energy is still here. So that's what just astonishes me that the school is so wonderful. In the same lines, does it amaze you to see what it's turned into many years later? Oh, completely. And I am, uh, the legacy that we leave, mm -hmm. I think, is the greatest thing that we could ever, um, ever ima uh, imagine the founding families there were probably seven or eight of us that really worked hard on this day in and day out it was without pay and we, and we nor did we want it our payback was seeing our children our, our kids thrive and they did here um, 
I am so proud of the fact that it's still here mm -hmm. and that people still want to come. And I have to say the test scores just came out and Cornerstone was the highest testing school again. in the district again. Wow. Yeah. So, and, and, I mean, do you feel that that is in part because the parents are here and they're more involved in the kid, with, with the kids' school? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I think it's, the parents are not just, I mean, it's important because that's part of the philosophy that they are in the classroom, but they're also here and supportive of so many other ways, the booster club and, and their PTA and, and all of the rest. They're here. It's a family affair. Mm -hmm. And what happens with the parents that have to both work? How do they participate? They have uh, special regulations for them. Everyone still has to be in the classroom, and there are ways for them to serve on committees and still, um, you know, work full time. So there are certainly uh, ways that they can accommodate working parents. Well, over the years, as we've had more and more families where moms and dads have had to go back to work or work more hours, we've had to be creative in our parent participation model. Okay. So they still are recommended, or it is recommended that they do the three and a half hour a week shift, okay. but there is a little flexibility. So now a parent can do a specialty shift where maybe they come into the classroom when writing is, is taking place, or junior grade books, or um, uh, uh, a hands-on science lesson in the lab. So there is some flexibility. So working with our participation in the parent board, we try to listen to the parents' needs and they listen to the needs of the school and how we can support the teachers in the classroom because they are trained to be an extension of the parent, of the teacher. The parent is an extension of the teacher and so it's very important that they work with those small groups as much as possible. Okay, now, from a teaching perspective, it must be kind of exciting for kids to have their parents in school with them sometimes. Oh, they love having their parents in school and they love having their dads here on occasion. We always have some dads that spend a lot of time and then we have some dads that are only able to spend a little bit of time and the kids get really excited when their parent, parents are here. What, what is, what's the parents' favorite things to do when they're in the classroom? Um, I think they like working directly with the children with a project, either an art project or say doing a math game or a sight word bingo or some kind of a skill. I think they enjoy really feeling like they're making a difference with the kids and um, enhancing the curriculum. It also seems like it must be very rewarding for the parents to be able to spend more time with their kids, especially when you're working or you're busy all the time. Well, they get to know the whole picture of what education is all about. Plus, they can be more supportive of, of what their children are doing in school and help them to be successful. You've obviously seen this program grow and grow in 20 years. What are you most proud of? I am most proud of, wow, let me start with the students. I'm very proud of the adults that they have become. Mm -hmm. They come back and they are very successful in their careers and their jobs. Uh, some have gone to college, some have begun um, very creative careers and have been very successful and that's because they're very confident when they finish here, they know how to interact with other people, they know how to think. Mm -hmm. So with kids, that's what I'm most proud of, their accomplishments. It's not always about the book smarts, but it's that they know how to think and apply the knowledge they've learned. And we've developed the whole child so we, we deal with performing arts, uh, uh, visual arts, uh, music. We've always had a high emphasis on character building. And all of that plays into the person you become as a young adult. Mm -hmm. So I'm very, very proud of that. Now, I have had very little to do with that. So I'm also very proud of my staff, my teachers, and working with the parents, and they've made all that possible. What do you think you learn the most from the parents? Being the teacher, we know the kids learn so much from you. What do you feel you're getting back from the parents in the classroom? Well, I've met so many amazing creative parents over the years since I've been here, starting with Sally Liebfried, who you've already interviewed, mm -hmm. and some of the other parents that started the school and the contributions they make as a teacher you need to be open to mm -hmm. some of their ideas they all have different careers and different talents and when you get to know them you can use those talents in your classroom really creatively so i i'm amazed at the quality of the parents that 
participate here and do a, and really run a lot of the programs that Jody just talked about or help support those programs that um, increase the whole child's uh, character. It's amazing what you can see and when everybody works together as a family unit and the school unit together. It is a great sense of community. Um, this is one big family that can problem solve anything that comes our way. No, this, this school is amazing and, and again you could probably go to universities and go to experts on public education and what it takes to build a successful school but this is, school is a model of that. Um, you know you have the parents are just very involved, you have an outstanding teaching staff, you have an outstanding principal who carries the vision of the school so it's, it, it really, it's really a family atmosphere, it's like a team working together to make this happen. This doesn't happen by accident, this success is because the team is here doing it. Now, let me ask you from a perspective of, of a teacher, an educator, would this work, do you think, in a, in a high school environment or does it work so well because it is an elementary school environment? You know, it probably would look a little different. I, I taught at high school a long time ago, mm -hmm. so I, it would look a little different in the high school, but the, the reason our schools are successful and Cornerstone is one of the examples in Palos Verdes is because the parents are involved, whether it would be on a daily basis, like, but we have parent volunteers, not necessarily the level of Cornerstone, but we have parent volunteers at all our schools, including the high school, so it works. It's really successful that they're there. I think so, and I think the fact that, that kids feel more comfortable too sometimes that they know their parents are around. Right, and I think it sends that message, this is important. My parents are investing their time in this program, and so this must truly be important. It's not something where they drop you off at the beginning of the day and then say, how did it all go at the end of the day? They're investing their time, their money, their energy in making this successful. And, and even uh, in some of the after-school programs that they do as well. Right, exactly. All over the school district, but Cornerstone especially. Um, I want you to go back um, 20 years ago and just tell me if you could shut your eyes and remember what did your first classroom look like? Well my first classroom looked nothing like this. Okay. It was pretty barren. It didn't have um, enough chairs or tables. I actually had taught a um, parent participation program with the LA Community Colleges and owned my own chairs and tables and I brought those with me. I brought my own housekeeping set to set up in my room. We had we used cardboard boxes that we covered with butcher paper to be bookshelves and things to keep the materials that we had, which we didn't have a lot of materials either. We had to scrounge. The parents really supported us with scissors and crayons and pencils and everything that we would need for the classroom. Did you ever stop to think back then, maybe, maybe this wasn't going to work out because you had so little? I can tell you that I didn't have the same vision as the parents and Margie that it would become a school like this. I think coming from a teacher in regular schools, I didn't have the vision that it could become not only a full school, but an outstanding school with outstanding academic performance. When was the first time that, that things started to come together and you thought, you know what, this is, this is going to be good? When we got our own principal <laughs> and we got an office and we got a custodian then, and we didn't have to run up to another school to use the laminator or the printer or any of those things, then to me it seemed like a real school and I knew it wasn't just going to be a DKK or a DKK1 school. And um, way before it became a DK5 school, I knew it was going to be a success, but Fred London, our original um, principal, poured his heart and soul into bringing us into a complete school. And um, then Jody came along and refined our program and brought in all sorts of uh, outstanding academic programs. We were the first elementary school in the district to have a smart board. We were a National Lighthouse School from the Blue Ribbon National Committee. We've been California Distinguished School under Jody's leadership. We've, we've just grown amazingly. This is probably one of the first classrooms I've ever walked into and I can honestly say that I feel like I'm in somebody's home. Is that partially because of you? <laughs> I think so because, I, first of all, I probably spend more time here than I do at my own home. <laughs> and um, my kids are like my extended family. And honestly, working with parents at a parent participation school, you get really close to the families. I'm really excited about the families I'm going to see that I haven't seen for years and years and possibly students. Because working with someone for a whole year where they spend one day a week in your classroom, you get to know them really well and they get to know you pretty well. You, sh you share your real self with them and so there becomes a bond and you know their child and you know them and you really care about them. 
as parents having children in the school, you are asked to participate. Um, tell me the kind of things that you're asked to do. Well, um, working in the classroom is probably the most important thing. Um, helping the kids learn different concepts, helping the teacher in any way they need help, just really supporting the teachers, um, helping out on the playground. Uh, there's so many different shifts you can do, you know, help out with math, reading, writing, PE. So there's a lot of ways to get involved. Is it difficult um, because of working scenarios to find the time to do this? Thank God I got a great wife who does <laughs> way more than her first year at this school. Uh, I think every family is different, obviously. And for us, we're great because she's an at-home mom that works from home. So her schedule is here and then at home. It's amazing what she does. I think someday she works harder than I do. Um, but for the school, I think it's an incredible thing because when I get to come, um, I love math. And I'll be here and they're doing a math class and I'll actually get to spend time with one or two kids. Maybe they're a few steps behind and I can spend a whole hour with them. And the teachers will say, go to the library. This is a great thing about having parents in the school because sometimes those two kids are maybe holding up the, that, that class for that moment in time. Mm -hmm. And then you get to take that individual time with them and really help those kids. And they get to know those kids, which is a great thing about this school. We made, made it our best friends here, our families for the future. It's incredible what we've done here and, and what she's done for this school and the teachers and the principal. It's incredible. And what kind of things um, do you learn in the classes that you go to um, about what they want you to do when you get here? Um, well, it might be how the teacher's going to be teaching the lesson and we'll be practicing the steps ahead of time. Um, for instance, in the junior great books, it's where you read a story, the children read a story. They discuss it with the teacher, then parents come in to discuss it, but we, we meet with the teacher first. She discusses the story with us, so we give our input, she gives some input and some ideas. How to promote conversation with the kids and really analyze the story is, is one of the things we do. Okay. From a parent's perspective, what's it like to be in the same room where your children are studying? Thinking back to when you were in school and parents were so removed from the process. You saw your parents in the morning and then you saw them when you got home at night, so what's it like to see your children during the day? I enjoy it. I think it's great. Um, and I think they like it. Uh, mm -hmm. My daughter grinds me every year. What day are you coming? Um, and I think it's something she looks forward to as much as I do. Okay. Um, How about for you? Um, you know, I don't, the kids don't know any different. And I just mm -hmm. think it's the best place to be. I mean, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I wouldn't want to trade it. It's so great to see those kids learning and interacting. And maybe you see your child, what they're missing. And you can help them with that at home. Um, and the other thing is I love when they get that, that light bulb comes on in their head and they just, they get the concept, you know? So it's so fun to see the kids learn and grow just year to year. You know, when, when you sign up to come to Cornerstone, every family signs a contract that you are required to put in a certain amount of hours. And it's, a, you know, depending on how many children you have, those are the shifts that you're assigned. You gotta just work it into your schedule. And we're blessed to be able to invest in this time with our kids and it's it's worth the scramble in the morning to you know get ready for work and get your kids and then to leave work to come to do your shifts at school but it's a special special opportunity for the parents is it ever overwhelming to you that you're going to have to find more time in your day Absolutely, and kindergarten was yeoman's duty. Of course, kindergarten is so overwhelming anyway. Just dropping off your child the first day, everything is overwhelming in kindergarten. And there's a lot more hands-on involvement. Getting into first grade and second grade, you find that the balance becomes more natural. And so now it's it's almost second nature. There's still those days when, you know, lunch doesn't get packed and something gets, a ball gets dropped at work, but, you know, such is life. It seems like, it seems like also, um, there's multiple parents in the classroom, so you get to be friends and you really get to know other parents as well. I think the special thing about Cornerstone is that you're not just meeting because you are a parent of your child's friend. You're meeting because you're working together and you're, you're working on events like this together, you're working on grading math, you're working on art projects. They're, it's lucky for our children also because they're surrounded by adults all day long and it's just an extra, it takes the village to raise a child and our teachers are amazing and they appreciate the time that the parents put in but I think that makes Cornerstone a really special school. And the families that come here, they choose to come here. They make a huge commitment to be here. And so everybody, you don't just have the three families that are doing everything. You've got everybody in the school that has to jump in and participate. So we're very blessed to have our kids go here. 
What's it like for you as a parent to come into a classroom and work with your kids? It's very humbling uh, at first because you very quickly see how hard it is to be a teacher. Yeah. And while our classes are relatively small, uh, it's just 24 kids. Mm -hmm. uh, in second grade, where I'm a teaching parent, they're like herdy cats, and they're going in all they're going in all directions. Uh, but the way that the, the teacher carries that energy and directs it. And, and, and the smiles and, and the fun that the kids are having while they're learning is, is very humbling uh, for me. I mean, I, I think I'm lucky to have the opportunity to be able to spend just that little bit of time uh, in the classroom, helping out wherever I can help out uh, as one of the teaching parents. It's interesting because, you know, we all grew up with not having your parents in the classroom, so it must be kind of exciting. I know for the kids, the kids love having their parents in the class with them. They really do. I, I, I like my kids' exposure to the other parents also. I, it, it's uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, they learn so much from some of the parents. I mean, they had some parents here some time ago that were some of the original engineers which developed the satellite uh, GPS tracking system. I mean, I mean, for our kids to be able to, to meet these parents uh, and others that are so extremely accomplished or uh, or are great musicians or, or artists. I mean, there's the, the, these sort of parents exist in all schools. It's just that our kids very rarely ever get exposed to them. That's, that was a very good point. No one brought that up. Um, also, as a working dad, and your wife works as well, is it tough for you to get the time to do it, or you just make it? I, I make the time. Uh, so we don't live that far from here. Uh, part of my business is structured around uh, how we spend our time with our families and and being able to to participate here uh, here at the school, so we, we we make that happen. What have you learned most in the couple of years that your kids have been going here? What what I've learned, uh, and, and I guess I, I learned this some time ago, but it's been reinforced, is that you never know what somebody has to offer until you take the time to get to know them. You, the most incredible people come in all different shapes, sizes looks, backgrounds, nationalities. I mean, the exposure that, that I get to just the other parents and to the teachers and the things that I learned from the kids themselves uh, that have lived overseas, for example, before or in different parts of the United States. I mean, it's a real learning experience I've found, not just for the, for the kids, but for all of us as, as parents also. Most of the parents that I've met here come from well-educated backgrounds, nice families. They understand the importance of a good education. And I know a number of parents here, many, many parents here, that could be working full-time and being successful in many different careers, but they have chosen to not pursue that, but to spend their time here at this school helping with their kids' education, my kids' education, uh, and. Um, and, and helping Cornerstone become really the, the renowned uh, parent participation school that it is. So, Parker, what's it like to have your mom or your dad in the classroom while you're at school during the day? Well, it's fun because, like, if I need help, they always come over and help me and stuff. As a student, what is that like to have your parents in the classroom? I think it's actually pretty fun. It is fun. To have them come into your classroom and help out with the teacher. And what kind of things do they do when you're in the classroom? They help out with the teacher. Um, sometimes when you need help on work or you need it corrected, um, then they'll do it for you. Tell me what it's like to have your mom in the classroom with you. Well, I think it's great because she can know what I do in class and she can just know what we're doing. I just want to congratulate Cornerstone on 20 great years. It's uh, I can I can meet with superintendents all over Los Angeles County, and I can see comparisons. This is like one of the finest schools anywhere. Congratulations to Cornerstone Elementary on your first 20 years. We look forward to many, many more. I'm Maria Sorreo, and we'll see you next time around the peninsula.